Ông Quy Chục. The President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ông Ngừng Rạp Cả Hồng Tốc. The Court is back in session. I hand over the floor to la parole the prosecutor est à présent rendue à l'accusation qui pourra continuer à interroger le témoin. Thank you very much, Mr. President. L'accusation. Mr. Numo, before the break, Monsieur Numo, you had mentioned Batambang. Avant la pause, vous avez and when you were talking about an evacuation, you said they were taken by train to Batambang. Now, is that something you saw or is that something you have heard from other people? Or is that something you saw or is that something you have heard Concerning the evacuation of people to Batambang, I did not witness it by myself. But I heard that people had been evacuated to Batambang and Kampuchnang provinces. I did not even know the exact number of people evacuated. I, at that time, was in a cooperative in Warsaw village, Samantong district, Kampongspe province. I was not given any task to do at that time. In other words, my right, my authority was removed. Je n'ai plus de droit, je n'ai plus eu d'autorité. Le chef de coopérative m'a fait travailler workshop dans un atelier d'artisanat. Et là-bas, par d'autres, j'ai appris que to Kompongchnang and Batambang provinces. That's what I knew, and the exact number of evacuees I did not know. That is all. Were any of your friends or relatives or people from your village where you were evacuated to Batambang? Were any of your friends or relatives or people from your village where you were evacuated to Batambang? Were any of your friends or relatives or people from your village? Yes, I had some relatives who were evacuated to Batambang, and some of my relatives were evacuated to Kompongleng district, Kompongchnang province. dans la province de Kompongchnang. I learned about this evacuation of my relatives from others. J'ai appris l'évacuation de ces membres de ma famille par d'autres. My relatives who were evacuated. Je ne savais pas ce qui est arrivé. Hope of survival was very minimal. L'espoir de survie était très mince. Il y a eu beaucoup de victimes. In the course of evacuation. Durant l'évacuation. So to answer your question, I learned about this evacuation from the villager in the Pangkong cooperative. I learned from the villagers from. A villager who were from my hometown in Pangkong, who was then in the cooperative, who told me about that evacuation. It may be a difficult question for you to answer. Ce sera peut-être une question à laquelle il pourrait être difficile de répondre. But can you tell us what year it was? When people were speaking about the evacuation to Batambang, on parlait de l'évacuation vers Batambang. Réponse. I do not recall the year. I do not recall the year. But at that time, 
both new and Mais old people who were incorporated into a cooperative que les anciens qui avaient été intégrés à la coopérative en ont parlé. Et c'est ainsi que j'ai appris l'existence de cette évacuation. J'ai appris que les évacués vivaient dans des conditions misérables. Et il n'y no communication allowed uh, Aucune at that time. communication n'était autorisée à l'époque. Uh, Quand j'étais dans cette coopérative, quand j'étais dans cette coopérative, They remove all of my uh, authorities or privilege, and I was made uh, to work in a handicraft workshop. Et on m'a fait travailler dans un atelier d'artisanat. And again, I did not know the exact number of people who had been evacuated. Je ne savais pas exactement combien de gens avaient été évacués. C'est par d'autres que j'ai appris que certains membres de ma famille avaient été évacués. I did not know. The fate of those relatives. J'ignorais le But sort de ses parents. I was told uh, that those people. Mais on m'a dit. Hope for survival was minimal. Que leur espoir de survie était time, très mince. Voilà tout ce que je savais à l'époque. Mr. President, I've asked open-ended questions as to Monsieur the timings. Monsieur le Président, j'ai posé des questions ouvertes quant à la chronologie. Can I please Or, refer to it again as a memory à égard, refreshing document? Puis-je à nouveau y recourir pour rafraîchir la mémoire du témoin? Le Président, je the vous president, en prie, allez-y. You may proceed. I refer to le English ERN. ERN en anglais. 004-19-463. Khmer. Okmer. 009-099-041. French. 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
ont été évacués vers Kompongchnag. So what I observed at that time was that uh, people at the base also died as a consequence of the evacuation policy and the new aussi, people, people from Phnom Penh, also des du uh, died uh, in the course of this eva eva uh, evacuation. So this was actually a political suicide uh, by the Khmer Rouge themselves. But I myself did not have any Rouge. right, any authority moi, whatsoever at that time because I uh, became sick. En I effet, could not do anything. I, I was only made uh, to work in a handicraft workshop in Chambok village. village de Chambok. I work over there uh, for women. They were made to shoe clothes. And for men, uh, they were tasked uh, to des chaussures, produce uh, les plough and other agricultural tools. Et and some of us were made to build Certains wooden houses, and houses were built uh, in a row in the cooperative. That pour former uh, des rangées was what I knew. Voilà ce que je savais. And I believe that this evacuation led to moi, many casualties, not only for the people in Phnom Penh, but also the base people. And the main uh, object behind this uh, policy was to disconnect communication between the new people and the old people. Nouveau, this is not ancien. my assumption, ce but this uh, is part. the truth, la because I saw the evacuation Car été témoin of de people from Kokong, and then they were de relocated at Srahtul, which was my, also my home uh, village. Qui était mon village natal. And people in Srahtul were transferred Srahtol, back to Kokong. A été transféré vers Kokong. Obviously, this policy was devised in order that people did not communicate with each other. And as for food regime, it was not uh, enough either. So evacuation was meant for this, actually. That's what I knew. That is all. Thank you. Mr. Numo, Question. after Monsieur the Numo, evacuation in 1975 in April from Phnom Penh, de Phnom Penh en avril 75, did you know of a place called, excuse my pronunciation, and if you don't understand, say so, appelé, did you know of a place called Srokpong? Srokpong. Et excusez-moi si je prononce mal ce mot. Si vous n'avez pas compris, veuillez l'indiquer. Réponse. When I was relocated uh, to Warsaw, Après avoir a commune, été transféré vers la commune de Warsaw, I never contacted Tpong district. Je n'ai eu aucun contact avec I le district de Kpong. Did know Tpong district, Mais je connaissais ce district de but I did not grasp the situation, the Cela demographic situation of la uh, the uh, district. De ce district. As I said, it was uh, difficult comme to dit, come up with the exact uh, demographic um, il est data because, uh, because people had been transferred out uh, of the district. La They were swapped with uh, people from other uh, uh, places, entre the base people et were endroits. taken les out and the new people were taken in. That's what I knew of the situation at that arrivés. place. Voilà Thank ce you. Que je sais concernant la situation de cet endroit. Do you remember Question. if any people in particular vos were taken to Srokpong? ont été en particulier emmenés à Srokpong. 
People who were evacuated to Tupong District, when the fighting was uh, erupting in Phnom Penh, and people who were evacuated uh, from uh, Otong, uh, they were relocated in uh, Tupong District, but I did not know its exact whereabout in uh, this uh, district. But uh, people could uh, have been evacuated from uh, Odong, and then they were uh, traveling along Om Leang, but I did not know the exact location where uh, they uh, resided. But I heard from the commune committee par le comité de la commune and the district committee Et about comité that evacuation. District, eu de cette evacuation. So the base people in Tpong had already base, been evacuated elsewhere, de and avait déjà the été evacuees who were actually evacuated from Dong were relocated in Tpong district. De Tpong. Um, can you help the court, Question. please? on what, if anything, happened to officials from the former non-Nol regime or military officers. Et aux officiers militaires du régime précédent, celui de Nol. They Réponse. evacuated people regardless of their civil La status. Population a été évacuée indépendamment people were evacuated de and some of them statut. were told that uh, they would be taken for further training in order certain, to um, fight back. Suivre une formation pour pouvoir riposter. For Evacuees from the uh, southwest zone were told that they would take them for education, de la zone but du uh, they never returned. I assume that uh, they must Je have been killed. Que ces gens I saw tués. groups of Lonol soldiers who were taken away. De qui se faisaient emmener. Those uh, soldiers were not armed. Even Ces if they had armés, rifle with them, they would be asked uh, to put them aside, and then they just they were just taken away. Côté, and some of them quoi, were told uh, that they were taken to fight with uh, the Vietnamese. Uh, groups of them were taken away, but we all uh, thought uh, that those people must uh, have been killed. Avait dû être tué. So they evacuated people irregardless Autrement of dit, their les gens status, ont été whether they be civilian or de leur statut, military personnel. De de it is my personal uh, judgment that uh, those who were told uh, Uh, to avis, uh, told to go for education with the upper organization, those people were destined uh, for death. De en haut so overall, people were cheated by the Khmer Rouge. Les gens ont été bernés par les Khmer Rouge. The Khmer Rouge was, in general, Ceci de manière gentle. Générale, They appear very gentle, but uh, they were very cruel. Mais they réalité, killed ils people cruels, indiscriminately. Car ils, uh, the president, aveuglément. Council, if you le have president. anything to que la raise, you may proceed. Council, Councilman. Mr. Sonarone. Prosecutor, ask a very brief question. Le procureur a posé uh, une question très brève the witness. But since this morning, the witness 
uh, has never responded uh, to the question of matin, the pro prosecutor, and his question has always been long-winded, and it never addressed the question posed by the prosecutor, Les and the prosecutor has kept complaining that uh, he needs time to put more questions to this witness. Avec la question. Or, Mr. Mr. A may, I, may I add um, an observation from témoin. my side? Uh, there is an objection uh, as well. Voici une observation et une objection. more face in an instruction to the witness. Uh, would you please uh, instruct this witness uh, again that he is not here to speculate or to make assumptions or to conclude uh, just merely stating or testifying what he has seen and what he has heard. He is continuously making assumptions um, and there is no place uh, for these assumptions or speculations in this courtroom when it comes to this witness. My next question has absolutely nothing to do with assumptions. Ma question suivante n'a absolument rien à voir avec des hypothèses. Mr. Maître, my, my request stands, Mr. President. Je maintiens ma demande. And that will be that you specifically instruct the witness not to speculate or assume, just to, to testify as to the things that he knows or saw. de déposer uniquement sur ce qu'il sait ou sur ce qu'il a vu. Ça fait, on y Le président. Le président. Witness, Monsieur le témoin, the chamber has already advised you la as to your duty as a witness to testify before the chamber. You can testify to the effect that you actually experienced yourself or you witnessed it, you heard it, and you respond to the question based on the facts that you encountered yourself or witness or heard it. And please be reminded that uh, you try to be brief in your um, statement uh, to each question. And you yourself has um, informed the chamber uh, that uh, you are uh, rather forgetful and you want brief question and you should also try to be brief in your statement. You may proceed, Mr. Prosecutor. Par conséquent, veuillez aussi donner des réponses courtes. La parole est à l'accusation. Mr. Numu, where Le were you Monsieur Numu, when you saw où étiez-vous quand vous avez vu quand vous avez vu des groupes de soldats away. de Londol se faire emmener I saw they took Lonol soldiers away vu in the commune in the commune of Chulroch in Pagoda in the Pagoda of Prechrum they evacuated people including soldiers as well Thank you, Mr. Numu. Those are all the questions we have. Thank you. Nous en avons terminé. Merci. The President. Le Président. Thank you. Merci. Now, I hand over the floor to the lead call lawyers for the civil parties pour to put the civil question to the witness. You may proceed. Council Pignon. Good afternoon, Mr. Maître President. Picard. Good afternoon, Your Honours. The Monsieur le Président, the juges. delegated lawyer is Mr. Largent T Maître and uh, Council Ben Lige. And Maître Benier the President, you may proceed. Pour interroger ce témoin. Le Président, allez-y. Council Largent T. Maître Largent T. First of all. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Tout d'abord, bon après-midi, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs les Juges. Good afternoon to everyone. Bon après-midi à tous. Good afternoon, Mr. Y compris Lumuk. à vous, Monsieur Mouk. Je m'appelle Lord Junti. I am a lawyer. Je suis from the avocats legal aid of Cambodia, and I am also a Pour civil party Legal lawyer, I have Cambodia. a few questions Je suis des for des you. Civil, et des In addition à vous to poser uh, the various questions put by my learned colleagues 
from de the prosecution. De l'accusation. I would like to begin my question with uh, the time when you first Commençons joined the revolution. Le Who où vous êtes inducted you to the revolution? revolution? Were you introduced to revolution Qui by any relative? Vous a fait entrer dans les rangs de la révolution? Était-ce un membre de votre famille? Respond, no. Réponse, non. Well, but my cousin back then, my cousin who was a member of the commune committee of Chung Ro, who de la de Chung Ro introduced me because he was a fait entrer party member. Parce il était membre du party. And there was another relative by the name of Hung Chon. Un autre parent, Hung Chon. And then Mom Tal. Il y avait aussi Mom Tal. And I was back then a member of the commune committee myself. J'étais moi-même membre du comité de la commune. Thank you. Question. Question. In connection with your entry into revolution what was the reason behind your decision Pour to quelle join revolution avez-vous décidé de vous rallier à la révolution le président Mr. Mao please uh, observe Monsieur that the microphone témoin, is activated before you attendre speak. que votre micro soit allumé avant de répondre Response. le témoin at that time, my relative who was working in the commune committee qui au sein du comité asked de me to commune, join the revolution. Lui qui a I told le them that I was not a suitable person que je pas taking into account my little faire, education and literacy. Then they continued uh, to tell me that uh, once I got involved, I would learn uh, from Ils it. Dit que so at that time, I could mesure. not protest any further je donc uh, or plus, I would risk uh, my car own safety and security. Mis en danger ma propre sécurité. Question. So you said if you Question. protested uh, you would si vous be aviez at protesté, risk. vous auriez uh, été en danger. Enlighten, uh, Pourriez-vous vous expliquer point, uh, what would be the likely risk à quel you would risque vous seriez-vous exposé joining? si vous aviez protesté Response. Réponse. The risk would be that I indirectly disagree with the revolution against Lonol administration. So if I did not join the revolution, they would not trust me. Et ce de manière indirecte. Because I was part of the commune committee uh, as well, Je so I had no choice but to join the Je revolution. Pas eu choix que de me à la revolution. Council, thank you. I have another point question. that I wish to also ask you. Autre question. When you joined the revolution, Quand Did you receive vous, any trainings à la on the party's policies? Avez-vous reçu une quelconque formation concernant les politiques du parti? Response. I joined the revolution. Hoping to liberate the people and country. Quand j'espérais pouvoir ainsi libérer le peuple. 
will be. If I did not join the movement, I would have problem si being neutral si because I either chose to join the revolution or end up being in the London controlled zone. So I was in between the rock and the hard place. And uh, I had to work in three com uh, villages. And the movement uh, was popular. Women, young people, including also uh, asked uh, to join the revolution. Question. What was actually the main purpose of the revolution? Was the revolution meant to revolution? be made against any particular regime? Était-ce contre un régime en particulier? Response: The revolution Réponse. was a, the created or was initiated uh, against the Lonnal regime because we were angry with uh, them for bombing the country. Contre eux, car ils bombardaient le pays. Question. Thank you. Question. When did you start to know Tamok? Quand avez-vous connu Tamok? If you don't remember the exact year, Je can you also say whether you knew him in 1972 si or 1973? Response. Réponse. I don't remember this. Je ne souviens pas. I don't remember the exact Moi, je ne date. Pas de I only remember having met Tamok. Je simplement rencontré Tamok. Council. Thank you. Question. Between Tamok Merci. and Chuchet. And you say that you know both of them. Vous avez dit que vous avez connu Tamok et Who would be more superior? Lequel des deux? In governance. Occuper le rang le plus élevé. The president, uh, Mr. Witness, could you please now be reminded to Monsieur pause Témoin, a little bit? Uh, please wait until you see the red light before you proceed. You may now proceed. Response. Réponse du témoin. I knew Tamok and Tuchet Eliassi. I knew Eliassi. them because they lectured during the political study sessions at Cantour. At that time, cadres from different parts of the country attended uh, such uh, sessions. There were about 200 participants in one of the sessions, and Chu Jet uh, was uh, engaged in giving lecture on politics. I attended uh, uh, the session that lasted for about one, one month. And by some time, Late of the session, Tamok uh, joined uh, Et plus tard, as a Tamok person who lectured on military. On in one of the sessions, he said, cadres at Pendant all levels had to ensure that they can encourage uh, people to join the movement uh, to fight uh, the Lono and the American imperialists. Answering to your question, I can say that Chuchet was more superior in his skills in politics than Tamok. Council, thank you. Question. Merci.
You said you attended political study sessions and that Tamok and Tuchet uh, lectured in uh, the sessions. And you also testified that Tuchet uh, and Tamok on one occasion had some disagreement. On what point did they disagree? Sur quoi n'étaient-ils pas d'accord? Response. Réponse. I don't remember this, but uh, Tamok, who lectured in one of the political study Tamok, sessions, and Chuchet, who also chaired uh, the political study sessions when he focused on politics, and where about 200 countries attended. Talked about politics, and Tamok uh, was talking Tamok, lui, about uh, fighting the imperialists and les the Americans. Et les Americans. But uh, whether Chuchet and Mok, or whether Chuchet was better than Mok si in his uh, Mok. popularity among the civilians. I can say that Chuchet uh, was um, much popular than Mok uh, in terms of Mok civilian popularity among the civilian, I mean, council. Thank you. Question. Oui, merci. I think I was asking you about this, or I may rephrase it. Uh, you said that uh, Tuchet and Tamok had uh, some disagreement uh, in their point of view. My question to you would be whether they had disagreement in evacuation of the population, or on which point? The President, uh, Mr. Vietnam, uh, could you please uh, be advised uh, to please observe some pause, uh, because it was not um, heard if you proceeded to speak when the mic was not on. You may not proceed. Uh, Co-prosecutor, you may not proceed first, rather. Mr. President, on a number of occasions you have reminded lead co-lawyers and others for the civil parties not to engage in repetitive questioning, which covers the very same ground that has already been covered at length by the prosecutors. This questioning is on exactly the same ground as issues that have already been covered, and in my respectful submission, this does not go to the primary function of civil party questioning, which is to elicit evidence of suffering. In my respectful submission, Council should move on to topics relevant to his role. Thank you. I would like to Mr. President and Your Honours, it is acceptable that the question is repetitive. Nonetheless, if uh, councils for the civil parties are asked only to put questions regarding injuries, I'm afraid uh, it is hard to accept uh, this position because councils for the civil parties will also be entitled to put questions regarding the alleged uh, crimes uh, rather than the injury. The president, uh, thank you, counsel. Your, uh, uh, the observation is somehow relevant because the chamber will do it best to make sure that repetitive questions are avoided. Uh, and the chamber will, at this uh, juncture, also consider the relevance uh, of the question of the civil party lawyers before uh, the chamber regarding the witness. And indeed, the council should be very minded and that such thing uh, should not repeat itself. Council Lao Chen Ti, thank you. Uh, and since the uh, co-prosecutor already pointed out about uh, this, I would like to proceed to putting questions, uh, further questions to Mr. 
nous poser d'autres questions à monsieur Nouveau. The president council please be advised Maître. that uh, this witness is not no Mo, he is Nu Mao, alias Mo, alias Mo, and uh, now please treat his official Veuillez name as Mao. Je vous prie utiliser son nom officiel, Mao. Council Junti, thank Maître you, Junti. Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I think uh, the main thrust of my question is this. Voici. L'essentiel de ma question. When was she arrested? Quand si a-t-il été arrêté? The president, le président. Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin. Please observe some pause Veuillez, je vous prie, before you proceed. Jury counsel should also be répondre. quick to help him so Et that he can be well reminded. Votre avocat devrait vous aider. And uh, vous rappeler d'attendre. Perhaps. Uh, Jury counsel may have to alert uh, the witness um, or just um, give him a signal before he can proceed to respond to, to questions, témoin, otherwise his message would not be heard. Response. If I remember the question correctly, you were asking si je me souviens de la question que vous m'avez posée, vous me demandiez about a person by the name of C and when he was arrested. Chose à propos de C et vous me demandiez quand il avait été arrêté. The answer is uh, simple. Je I don't know. Je sais rien. The president, uh, you may continue. Uh, we may proceed to another question. Le président, posez une autre question. Counsel. Who Maître arrested you qui and who detained you? Vous a arrêté, qui vous a Response. People at the cooperatives Les gens de la coopérative who brought me to Basset and Basset where I was detained. Et ai été It was Prosat. Prosat. Prison. La, la prison de Prosette. I th I heard from other that uh, this person was uh, from sector fifteen. Du sector 15. But later on, he also disappeared, Et and I don't know who could have arrested him. Je ne sais pas qui l'a arrêté. And his father-in-law. Et son beau-père. Rather, sees brother-in-law was also Et son beau -frère deceased when his wife still alive when I was detained at that prison. Été et détenu à cette prison. Bombs were dropped at Pim Chan. It was that Pim moment uh, that prisoners who, who uh, some of them were shackled, uh, had to be evacuated. Council, I am sorry to interrupt uh, you. Maître I will Lord have Chief the final question for you, please. Vous you said uh, you knew the plan to evacuate uh, Phnom Penh. Vous avez dit que vous étiez My question to you is After the evacuation of Phnom Penh, were you aware vous that vous the Khmer Rouge asked si. people to come to Phnom Penh to work? And if Après so, what happened to them? De Phnom Penh, il est arrivé au Khmer Rouge de dire aux gens de venir travailler à Phnom Penh. Et vous dire ce qui leur est arrivé à ces gens. I don't Réponse. know Je ne le sais this. Pas. Je ne sais rien de cela. Because now you are going back to the evacuation of the population because we talked about this already. Council, thank you very much, Mr. Witness. I have no further questions. Yes.
Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. My name is Benny Yi. I'm one of the international civil party lawyers, and I would like to ask you a few follow-up questions. First, I want to talk about the law no soldiers that you said you, said you saw were taken away. Can you tell the court how many soldiers you saw being taken away? Combien de soldats ont été emmenés, d'après ce que vous avez vu? Response. Réponse. I think your question also um, makes uh, me go back a little bit. Uh, indeed, uh, people question. were evacuated from the city, and a lot of soldiers also were sent from Phnom Penh. I saw them. Phnom Penh. They were not armed. They were disarmed, in other words. They were seen carrying only a backpack, a military backpack. And uh, they were asked uh, to move to uh, the west, uh, and they never returned. So the Lono soldiers that you saw taken away in Kampong Spu came actually from Phnom Penh. Did I understand that correctly? Response. Yes, it is correct. I saw them at Prey. Uh, Chum at Chung Rock Commune. Indeed, uh, these uh, people were evacuated together oui, with the soldiers along with the ensemble. general public. And after that, I did not know what happened. Cela, and again, please reassure that I'm not Et really telling this uh, for the sake of telling the chamber. I'm telling all the truth. The President, je, uh, Council, please dis, move on to the next question. Je le dis pour la cour, je dis Thank you, Mr. Witness. Président. And I would Maître like to Benny ask Passant you now, how did you Maître know Benny. that these were lone no soldiers si, if they were evacuated together with the civilians? Si ces gens ont été évacués en même temps que les civils, comment saviez-vous que c'était des soldats? Response. Réponse. They could be identified because uh, they were wearing uniforms, the military uniforms and the gear uh, uh, that uh, could make uh, me tell uh, you that they were soldiers. And they were told that they would be um, taken to study sessions. And at that time, my health uh, was not good. Pas en bonne but santé. I saw them, and it was Je not a vu. rumor. I saw them personally, pas une rumeur. Je and les ai vus. they were received at a place uh, to the south of the pagoda. A lot of Lono soldiers would be seen packing this area, and they were brought from Phnom Penh. And that's all I know. After they were taken to any study sessions, that is not my knowledge. And again, to confirm this, I saw them wearing military uniform and the military gear, but they were not armed. So again, I am telling the truth. The President, Council, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Can you, because you said that you saw a lot of soldiers, can you give us a rough estimate how many soldiers you saw at that time? Response. I'm afraid I cannot say exactly. Uh, perhaps uh, a hundred or so. There are a lot of them. And uh, they were placed in a location near that pagoda. And they also were offered some food. And the following day, they were 
le jour suivant. Sent uh, to education sessions by the upper echelon, and that's all I know. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I would like now to come to another topic. Um, you said this morning that after the evacuation from Phnom Penh, there was a clear segregation between base people and new people. My question is, could you please describe this segregation? Response. Réponse. I'm afraid I cannot uh, respond to this question because the only thing I know is that uh, people were asked to Sous receive savez, people from Phnom Penh and that uh, they identified uh, the base people and the new people from Phnom Penh and that the base people were asked to prepare food and other things to receive these newcomers. Thank you, Mr. Witness. After the arrival of these newcomers, did you observe the tr that the treatment between the new people and the base people were the same or si were, they were they different? Le, le peuple de base et le peuple nouveau étaient traités de la même façon ou y avait-il une différence? Response. I think it was at that time that I was no longer a member in the organization in the cooperative. Plus membre de I was more or less an ordinary person, but I know that uh, three people would be je sais. grouped together and that a base person, a villager, would be placed among these new people so that uh, these new people could be monitored. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Why Question. do you know why Merci. this new people Pourquoi had to be monitored by base people? Pourquoi il fallait que le peuple de base surveille le peuple nouveau? Response uh, that I don't uh, know. Je ne le sais pas. Because. I was uh, made uh, to work at the handicraft uh, section and uh, at that place I do not know much about this. Thank you. And after the monitoring of the new people, would the base people report to the Khmer Rouge authorities in your cooperative? Est-ce que les gens du peuple de base faisaient un rapport aux autorités? La coopérative. Response. Réponse. I don't wish to speculate. Et je ne veux pas faire de suppositions. It is only that I saw three new people would be mixed with one base person. Trois personnes du peuple nouveau. Il y avait une personne du peuple de base. But the purpose of having this group is, of course, to make sure that the new people and the base people can work together. I just don't know for the motive behind this grouping. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I would like to now come to my last topic. You said earlier on that before the Khmer Rouge took over, monks were lured to defrock to join the, to join the army during a meeting with the monk. My question is, do you know if monks were also defrocked after the Khmer Rouge took over? Savez-vous si des moines ont été défroqués après la prise du pouvoir par les Khmer Rouge? Response. Réponse. I believe that uh, there were no more monks to be defrocked because they had already been defrocked. Because uh, the Khmer Rouge soldier already engaged in the movement to make sure monks were defrocked. À ce mouvement visant à I think uh, perhaps this question is rather repetitive. Because Tamok 
was in charge of cult section du culte. and in the rally he um, promoted uh, the idea of having all the Buddhist monks uh, defrocked. Cette idée qu'il que tous les Thank you. Maybe I didn't make myself clear enough. Question. I was referring to the period after the Khmer Rouge took over, after 17th April 1975. Did you know if the defrocking of monks continued after that period? Après ce moment, les moines ont continué à être défroqués. Ah, no. Response. Réponse. No more monks. No to be defrocked because de they frappes. had already been defrocked uh, at the very beginning. It was a kind of shoot campaign in defrocking une, uh, uh, the monks uh, by the Khmer Rouge. Les Khmer Rouge Although ont cette people de, did not de wish to be defrocked, uh, they had no choice bon, même si but uh, pas be defrocked after all. And again, this was all the idea of Tamok, uh, who was in charge Tamok of the cult uh, section. Du culte. That's all from me. I think I already tout. talked about this this morning. Ai déjà parlé ce matin. Thank you, Mr. Witness. I have no further questions, Merci and I wish you a safe Monsieur journey témoin. back home. Plus de questions et je vous un bon chez vous. The President. Thank you. Le président. Merci. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, would témoin. you like to say anything else? Quelque I, quelque chose? It appeared to us that um, you would like to say Vous a few words. You may proceed. Faire une intervention. Um, witness, actually, she said uh, thank you to me, and I just wish to thank her as well, and I thank you, Mr. President. Voilà, the President, uh, thank you, and uh, it is now appropriate time already for the adjournment. The Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes. The next session will be resumed by 10 to 3. Court officer is now directed to assist the witness and his duty counsel during the adjournment and have them return to the courtroom by the time set du témoin et de son conseil, après son avocat, et alors prise des débats, la suspension de l'élection. Veuillez vous lever.